Driving more point to mecha mechanical impedance is a TL K over omega. And we know that this wave number is omega over C. Right? So what is this? So that is a TLC. And also we know that speed of propagation of a string is a TL over low L. A TL over C. Right? Yes, yes. Therefore, we got this is rho L C S. Okay, so we finally got the right answer. Okay, this is what is this? This. What is this? Remember when we have a thin string and a thick string problem. Okay. Z1 and Z2, that was considered to be the characteristic impedance of a string, right? And we found that the, the ratio between incident to one, this G1, and the reflected wave, that is H1, at x equals 0, depends only on the characteristic impedance of a string. And this impedance is simply rho L C1 over 2 if the density of a string is the same. But I should 1 and 2. Okay? So, in other words, this means that driving point impedance for semi-infinite string case is the same as the characteristic impedance of string. Okay? This is characteristic impedance. Let's go back to the physical meaning of driving point impedance. Okay. Impedance is the ratio between force and velocity. Okay. If impedance is in phase, means that when I put the force, then the string would move with the velocity that is in phase with the, with the force, right? So when I push it, the string will be pushed with the same phase, okay? Another physical meaning is because I can move the string with the same phase with the velocity, that means I, I am, I am pouring an energy into the system very effectively. There are two kinds of energy we can think in the beginning, kinetic energy and potential energy. And a kinetic energy that has to do with the velocity. Right? So that means I am giving energy in a system. Then what's going to happen? Because the system got an energy that has to be expressed somehow, I mean expressing that he got an energy. The, 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 
unique way of expressing energy is a propagating wave. Right? And also, this one has exactly the same as the characteristic impedance. Therefore, there is no reflection as we see over here. So conclusion is, because the impedance has only real part, in other words, phase between force and velocity is the same, and the impedance is the same as the characteristic impedance of a string, there's no reflection. Another interpretation, I can see whether the string is a semi-infinite or not by just driving one end. In other words, if I measure the character driving point impedance at x equals zero, then I can determine whether or not this string is semi-infinite or, or not. Right? So this is great. One measurement, one point measurement can give me idea what's going on in x equal I mean, the positive x-axis, x-axis. That is great. What if this impedance has only real part, but different with the rho LC? That then, we might have some reflection. Because the only circumstance that we do not have a reflection is the case when we have driving point impedance is exactly the same as the characteristic impedance of a string. Okay? Then let's look at the other case. When we have finite string. For a finite string that has length L, the wave we can expect is following. Possible wave would be function of x and time. Of course, in this case, we have same coordinate, x and y. Okay, that would be somehow similar or related with the wave we saw for a semi-infinite case. But this wave has to satisfy the boundary condition. That is y x equal l t has to be zero. Right? And because we are harmonically excite the string, we know that the wave that is generated in this region would have sine or cosine form. Okay? But if I see the wave with respect to x equal L, that means I am seeing the wave from L. Right? And I want to measure the wave on the x-axis from L, then I should write like this, K L minus X, then that form satisfies the boundary condition. 